Hello and welcome back to your AndroidAppTraining.com online course. We're going to take the next step in our app called Android Zoo. What we've done so far is added our three buttons and overlaid some images on top of those and we've added labels below each image so that we know which animal is which. Now since the point of our app is to be able to click on each one of these buttons and get an animal sound for each one, we're going to go ahead and add our sound components so that we can make that happen when we get to the blocks editor. Now if you go to the media drawer, that's where you'll find the sound component. You want to use the one called sound, not player. We'll drag one of those on there and we'll actually drag one for the lion and one for the tiger. Now I'm going to immediately rename these because when I get to the blocks editor I want to know which sound component is supposed to go with which animal. So I'll click rename, make that the kitty sound, make this one the lion sound, and we'll make this one the tiger sound. Okay, so now we've got our sound components renamed. Let's highlight the kitty sound down here and then go up to the properties area and just like you did with your Hello Per app, you want to find the source and we'll click add and then we'll go find our meow sound. Click OK and now those two will be attached and we'll do the same thing with our lion sound and our tiger sound. Great, so we have all of the components we need for this app in place. In our next video, we'll go into the blocks editor and show you how to get this thing working. And then after that, we'll talk about changing the graphic layout.